2012, the Navy women's soccer team ran off a 20-game unbeaten streak before the Colgate Raiders upended the mids 1-0 in the Patriot League championship game. With the 2013 season on the horizon, the two tournament finalists find themselves looking up at a new foe. Boston University enters the 2013 women's soccer season as the preseason favorite, winning the coaches' poll with 152 points and 12 first-place votes. The Terriers joined the league from the America East, where they went 12-6-1 last season. Navy placed second in the poll with 144 points and four first-place votes, while Colgate landed in third with 138 points and four first-place votes. The other newcomer to the league, Loyola Maryland, finished in fourth place with 101 points, and Army closed out the top five with 98 points. Lehigh, Bucknell, American, Holy Cross, and Lafayette round out the 2013 preseason poll. Boston University also boasts the Patriot League preseason Offensive Player of the Year in Madison Clemens. The senior forward scored eight goals last season and has totaled 14 over the last two years. She was an America East All-Conference First Team selection last season. Also earning preseason honors is Navy junior Jade Seabrook. She was named the Patriot League Preseason Defensive Player of the Year after anchoring a defense that led Navy to 19 wins last season. She also scored a pair of goals and had four assists. Now for more on the preseason number one, let's go to Boston University's 19-year head coach, Nancy Feldman, who is joining us via Skype. Nancy, thanks for joining us today and welcome to the Patriot League. Thank you very much. So BU is ranked number one in the preseason poll. Does that put any extra added pressure on you guys as you enter the new league? Well, I guess you could, we, we feel uh, certainly honored that um, the, um, my colleagues, fellow coaches and sports information directors at the other school uh, think that we are a strong program. So uh, as far as pressure, um, you know, we have high expectations for ourselves and we uh, want to perform at the highest level we can. So I'm not sure it's any extra pressure, but uh, maybe the target on our back is just a hair bigger. I was just about to ask if, you know, transitioning to a new league, do you feel like there's going to be any challenges? I guess the target would be one of them. Yeah, that is one. And um, the other is it's just it's everything's so new. Uh, Traveling to uh, all the away games, um, the facilities, just just the logistics of travel and getting comfortable. We kind of we knew where we were staying in Maine. We knew the, the the what the field looked like and how it felt to play on. Um, and same with all the the programs we had been uh, competing with in the America East for so many years. So there's a lot new to uh, what we're doing. The game of soccer is the same, and our preparation is the same. But it definitely there'll be some uh, extra challenges with how uh, uh, just we're not we're not used to some of the um, situations we, we might be in. Who do you expect will bring you the best competition? The reigning champion uh, Colgate uh, for the conference tournament last year and the regular season champion Navy are two teams that I think are expected to do well again this year so I, I, I mean we, we, we um, know that those will present really strong challenges. Loyola coming in as we are uh, as a uh, conference champion themselves in, their, in the MAC. So there's a lot of talented teams uh, with four teams winning the Patriot League, four different teams winning the Patriot League in the last four years. You can tell how balanced and how strong the, the, all the programs are. Uh, so I think we, there's not one opponent that we're saying, oh, if we just take care of business against this opponent, w w we're going to achieve uh, uh, a championship, we, we know it's going to be, um, it's a marathon versus a sprint and every game is going to be really important. One of your players, Madison Clemens, was named the preseason offensive player of the year. What does she do for the dynamic of your team on the field and do you have any other players that you expect to perform really well this season? Yeah, Madison is a senior forward and she has scored some really big goals for us. Very strong physical player, uh, has a great shot and she's matured a lot over the last few years in her tactical understanding of the game. She always, she from the day one had physical attributes that made her a great player. So we expect uh, hopefully a lot of goals from Madison Clemens and be a leader on the team uh, both in that way and also just by the way she plays as a forward. There's a, a strong senior class this year and we're fortunate because going into this new situation I think it puts us in the best position possible to have success, so a group of players, uh, Emma Clark, who uh, was also named to uh, all-conference preseason team, Kylie Strom in the midfield, uh, Megan McGoldrick in the midfield, Andrea Green in goal for her uh, second year, 
um, where she's going to see minutes. So we've got a strong core of senior players that are hopefully going to be able to deal with the, the challenges that the season presents. And um, I know that they want to finish their careers uh, getting back to a conference tournament where we weren't able to do that last year because of the America East Band. So I think we have a motivated group and I think we have a talented group. When you first arrived at uh, BU almost 20 years ago, there wasn't much of a women's soccer program there, and now you have such a well-respected and successful program. How difficult was it to build that, and where do you hope to go from here? Well, we had great, I had great support um, from the administration, and that absolutely is uh, the number one reason that we've been able to um, build the program and have the success we've had. And the other, um, great thing about Boston University is it's, it's an easy sell to recruits. It's a, it's a terrific school in a great city and um, you know the, the, I, I've worked hard, we've worked hard as a coaching staff. Uh, we've gotten the right players. Uh, they have come to BU for not just the soccer program, we, we were able to sell the, the academics and the campus and uh, so I think we have the right people here. Um, and so th that, that's really been a key. As far as where we want to go in the future, we're now now we want to establish ourselves in the Patriot League as a, as a contender, as they say here in Boston, um, and that's uh, you know not going to maybe be in a year or, or two years, but something that we think is a is a, a goal for the next four or five years, and continue to position ourselves in the Northeast region with our out of conference schedule as one of the top three or four teams in the Northeast region, and um, and we'd like to continue to think uh, that we can reach into the top 25, top 30 nationally. Uh, on a more regular basis, we've appeared in the top 25 over the last few years, but we haven't consistently stayed there, and I think that would be the ne next step for our program. Is there anything that you'd like us to know about your players? Could you characterize them a little bit and tell us what they're like as people? Well, I'd like to think they're good people. Uh, I think they're balanced. Uh, they are uh, very serious and committed, motivated students. They have a real um, generosity about uh, the way they go about uh, community service and the um, uh, support that they show to the other student athletes here on campus. Uh, and uh, so they're not just soccer players. They, they, I like to think they're well-rounded. Um, and I, I like to think that they show good sportsmanship when they play the game, that they respect the game, that they respect opponents. I, I hope that that's what the Patriot League opposing coaches and fans and uh, we'll see from our squad uh, and they um, they're a highly motivated group uh, they want to be as uh, excellent and uh, as excellent as they can be uh, and I think that uh, you'll see hopefully you'll see uh, a group of players and a team that's very hard working from the start of a game to the end of the game no matter what well Nancy thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today I wish you the best of luck the rest of the season Thanks very much.